So I did this plan a few weeks ago and had unbelievable results. I did it right after the holidays when I felt like I just had a food baby. I was super bloated. My digestion after that breakfast. Oh my gosh, this looks so good, I'm drooling. Let's do it, ah! Way better than I could have even ever dreamed. I feel like a new person. I'm not kidding, I can feel my stomach like they are life-changing. Girls, we're back. I couldn't be more excited. I feel like the camera is so close, but I guess I forgot what YouTube really feels like. It feels like we are like FaceTiming. So here we are anyways. I'm doing the three-day digestive reset plan, which you girls can get on my website if you wanna follow along. I did this plan a few weeks ago and had unbelievable results. I did it right after the holidays when I felt like I just had a food baby. I was super bloated, no routine, and I just needed something to jumpstart me. So it's three days, it's not restrictive, it's super fun, and it's just tips to help you jump back into a lifestyle. So it's really, really nice if you girls are looking for, specifically with like your digestion, it's the perfect plan for that. Um, so I'm doing it again, starting today, day one with you girls. I really would recommend that you download the plan on my website, I just wanna show you girls what it looks like. Everything's at home, which is super great. It's super just beautiful and easy to follow. There's great recipes and you can customize the plan or follow the one that I'm gonna be doing. So I'm gonna start with day one. Today's breakfast is the Digesti Bowl. So we're gonna start there and let's just see how this goes. I missed you girls. Ah. Let's go school boys. You guys, I still haven't taken my Christmas tree down. It just makes me so happy and I refuse to let Christmas be over. So I wanna also show the girls my little outfit of the day. I feel better when I put myself together so I really put effort to doing that. Let's get everything ready for breakfast. We're gonna need Greek yogurt, pineapple, papaya, coconut shreds, chia seeds, hemp seeds, honey, almond butter. Okay, let's do it. Whenever I buy animal produce, I really try to get the highest quality ingredients. So this is like a gallon of Greek yogurt I get from a farm nearby me every week or two. I love to prep my fruits because cutting them up is like so time consuming. So when I'm, during, when I'm doing a plan during the week, it makes it like actually possible to follow because cutting this up like actually takes some time. There are exact measurements in the plan, but I like to eat by, oops, my eye, how I'm feeling. So you girls can use those measurements or just listen to your body. Listening to your body is always a better choice, but if you need some like guidance and you don't really know what's going on, that's great. This recipe is filled with digestive enzymes. Pineapple and papaya are my favorite for that. And it's easy, it's quick, it tastes like sherbet. I love to buy local and artisanal produce whenever I can. You might think it would be more expensive, but this honey was actually cheaper than the one I normally buy in the grocery store. So you just have to like find the right ones. Oh my gosh, this looks so good, I'm drooling. I'm drooling. Scopas. I'm drooling. So the five E's for three days that we're practicing are all listed in the plan. It'll make sense when you like read through it. But the first one that I wanna focus on is enjoy, E, enjoy. So all the tips start with E because 95% of our serotonin, which is our happy hormone, is produced in our gut. So literally if your gut is not healthy, it's really hard to be happy. Mmm, and literally when I'm stressed, I can eat the healthiest meal and still get bloated. So it's not always about that. It's about your mindset, enjoying the food, being thankful for the food and being like happy in your life overall. 
So maybe we'll make a little drink, go for a drive, go for a walk, I'm not sure yet. Spontaneity is also an option, so maybe we'll just see what happens today. Mm. Mm. That was delicious, really good. The combination of like all those things, it tastes like sherbet. My digestion after that breakfast, that was crazy, that was like insane. But I forgot to mention about the workouts and movements part of this plan. Um, it's 45 minutes each day and you can do whatever feels right for you. I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna prep lunch now because there's some things that I just wanna get ahead of. So I'm gonna prep lunch, have it a little later and then this afternoon do my morning workout. I typically do prefer to work out in the mornings just cause it jump starts my day but I'm prioritizing filming these YouTube videos, so I can't, I'm trying to time manage everything. But ideally, if I wasn't filming, I would definitely go right in the morning because that makes me feel really good. So I'm filming the lunch recipe for my Instagram. So you girls will get a little BTS of how I do it. We just washed all the veggies. Tried to make it look cute, but super simple. Like I didn't even chop them up because we don't have time for that. I'm also making extra so that I can store the vegetables for next time that I want to have this dish and not have to go through the whole process again. You can drizzle olive oil or coconut oil. I like to switch it up. And pink Himalayan salt. It's my favorite to really hydrate the body. People think it dehydrates you. It's actually what rehydrates you if it's the right salt. We're gonna put this in the oven on 325 for 20 minutes. I think about 20 minutes, I just made that up, Scorpius. You always have to improvise on the fly. Like I was supposed to put the tofu on the pan, but the vegetables became way too much. So girls at home, put your tofu in slices, steak slices or salmon. The idea is to put it on the pan. So it's just like a one sheet bake, but I'm gonna put it on another pan. When you blend the quinoa before cooking it, it takes the husk off. That can be really hard sometimes for some stomachs to digest, so it makes it softer. It also takes the bitter flavor away. So this is like secret quinoa hack. So you see, like, that's what happens. The ratio for quinoa to water is one cup quinoa, two cups water. Ghee is my favorite thing to put in quinoa. The taste together just works so well and ghee is like clarified butter. So I put like one big tablespoon for a big batch of quinoa. We are gonna boil it until it is, all the water's gone. You just have to keep your eye on it so the bottom doesn't burn. Stir it once in a while. We are making our tofu steaks now. All you're gonna do is slice your tofu. Oh my gosh, that texture. You do the same thing with salmon if you're using salmon. Coat it in olive oil or pink Himalayan salt and pepper. We're gonna put in the oven until crispy. Woo! All the ingredients for lunch are ready. We have our quinoa, crispy vegetables and crispy tofu. We're just gonna assemble the bowl and add some sauerkraut and kimchi on top. Crispy tofu. Then we have our sauerkraut, which is just fermented cabbage. So it's nothing scary or weird. I used to be scared of it when I was little. We're gonna add a little bit of kimchi as well, which is fermented veggies. Great for our digestion. Are you girls seeing this? It came out way better than I could have even ever dreamed. Wow, my appetite just, I wasn't hungry until I saw this. If you guys have a super busy work or home life, it would be a good idea to prep these foods maybe on the weekend and then start the plan once you have some of the foods prepped because it can take time and the biggest thing is that you just stick to the plan. Mm. Also, I thought I would be scared of kimchi and sauerkraut because when I was little, we used to play family games and the loser would have to eat a cracker with like all these things on it and people always put sauerkraut on it. Mm, it is so good. It's like 
salty, vinegary. The kimchi has ginger in it, which is gonna be so good for our digestion. Mm. So this bowl is like, wow, everything about it. This is one that I got. The greenest to me. I always try to find like the most organic homemade stuff. So this is from like actually a homemade person. Um, so it doesn't have like the preservatives in it because that de will defeat the purpose, you know? I'm just gonna eat until I feel content because I now know my body's hunger signals. Like I know when I'm full. And I'll save the rest for later and I'll, I'll put all the leftovers away too. And if you have someone in your house, you can have them try it. I'm not kidding, I can feel my stomach like. And not in a bad way. And this honestly is what our digestion should be. Like you should eat and go to the bathroom. It shouldn't be you eat and two days later you go to the bathroom. Mm. I decided that we're gonna go to the gym just because I do wanna push myself these three days. It's only three days I can do walks like and chill things the other days and I have the energy. This is not making me feel sluggish. It's like lighting me up. Like I am, well, I'm craving a Coke Zero. That's what I'm giving up today. Because <sighs> each day we give something up that we're like used to having that's probably not the best for us. And I'm gonna give up Coke Zero. My boyfriend drinks it. And so I just started to have like little sips of his and now like I crave full ones. And it's horrible for you. So I'm gonna get sparkling water. This is Pellegrino, blood orange and black raspberry. It's really good. And there's zero sugar, zero calories. Um, yeah. So my Coke Zero. Next time I make this bowl, it's gonna take me five minutes instead of 30 minutes. And 30 minutes isn't bad either. Big broccoli. Mm. This bowl would be even good cold. Squeeze you in here. I can feel my body craving kimchi and sauerkraut. I want more. We just made it to the gym. I'm so proud of myself. I'm wearing all black, white sneakers, and I think I'm gonna just do 20 minutes on the treadmill and then 25 minutes of like some light mat work and weights. So. The point is just to get your body moving, do what feels really good. The point is just 45 minutes, so it doesn't matter if you do a class, a hike, a walk, a workout. If you need any workout videos, I have some other ones on my channel. Or if you want more, let me know. So, let's do it! Ah. Time for a little core. My favorite move ever. Opposite knee, opposite elbow. Because it works your waist. So you're here, straight from straight leg, and you're just tapping. You see, it's your whole waist here. Ten each side, three times. My other favorite are side planks with a reach, so he reached his arm down. Ten times each side, three times. And the last one you're gonna, and the last one, I'm also whispering because there's so many people here and I'm very embarrassed, so just go with it. The last half, the 
last I move our pretzel crunches. I'm gonna switch ten each side three times. Add that ab to your whatever workout you do finisher. It feels so good to move your body. Wow. I feel like a new person, honestly. amazing not too hard just what I needed it's all about finding what you enjoy doing because the only way you'll maintain this lifestyle this lifestyle is if you enjoy it so make it work for you I'm at one of my favorite delis I just got fresh bread for tomorrow's breakfast and I'm looking just for maybe something for my house it's like my little Explore and treating myself activity of the day. So I'm gonna just enjoy this market and see if there's anything I find. Maybe a nice tea. Flowers are always a good idea. So I'm gonna change out my Christmas right now. I have like Christmas arrangements on my dining table. I'm gonna change it out for for these. Are gorgeous. Mm. The thing with this plan is I don't want you girls to trap yourself into anything. Like that bread is supposed to be for tomorrow, but there's no rule on having a little bit today too. So don't block yourself. Just listen to your body. And the point is that you start implementing new habits after this plan, and not just like three days and over. It's dinner time. I just got showered, I'm all fresh and clean, post gym, post little excursion to the deli. And we're gonna make our delicious chicken tinga recipe, which I learned when I was just in Mexico. And I have been obsessed with it ever since. So I'll walk you girls through it. So I have my water coming to a boil. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in these chopped veggies, but we want them to stay in super big chunks because we're gonna blend it into a sauce afterwards. So we're taking two tomatoes, just in halves, chipotle peppers. I could not find chipotle peppers where I am. So I got, this is like a type of jalapeno. So I'm gonna use this instead, but ideally you use chipotle peppers. I'm gonna take out some of the seeds because this is like insanely spicy. The recipe calls for half a bell pepper, but this is a small bell pepper. So I'm gonna use the whole thing and I love the bell pepper. So you know how sometimes the bell peppers are like massive. So I'm gonna use this whole small bell pepper. Okay, we need a fourth of an onion. This was a half, so there's a fourth. We're gonna take all these veggies and put them into the boiling water. Oh. For our chicken, I bought just chicken breasts, so I'm gonna clean it. It's always really important you handle your chicken well because you can get bacteria. These are big ones. I love when they have the bones in it because you get a little bit of the bone broth into the sauce which is always a, a great benefit for our guts. Um, I'm just going to rinse this off in the sink and um, take some of the skin off. It's such a weird feeling handling raw meats but I feel like it's really important to know what you're eating and to be comfortable like touching it so that was something I had to get over because this before would like freak me out. I don't want to be afraid of meats and I want to be able to cook them and I feel like it's a great skill to know how to like cook your own meats. So here we are. Our big chicken breast. I'm making more than normal to have it leftovers. The best. Pink Himalayan salt. Here's what it looks like. We're gonna let it boil, like a low simmer boil for an hour till all the vegetables are soft. You can go more, but at least one hour. So let's, let's do a little home care 
while we wait for the chicken to cook. Little deli outing. I got some flowers for the house. I'm officially gonna throw away my Christmas centerpiece. So we're gonna put something a little more spring and lively. I got fresh sourdough bread for day three's breakfast. Ooh, cannot wait to eat that, literally. And then I also picked up some cut cottage cheese because we also have this in one of our recipes. I really try to have my life as well-rounded as possible. So it's all about, as I've gotten older, it's realizing it's all about prioritizing. So for me, my home space is just as important to me as my work, as my physical health, because it's where I spend, I work from home, so it's where I spend all the time. So having like a clean, organized, environment that I really love has become really really important to me so I prioritize it it's not it's all about just choices so instead of right now watching Netflix which I'm dying to do I'm gonna do a little bit of home care just to keep my environment feeling good so this is kind of cheating because it's already a finished bouquet which because we're so busy this is super convenient so it's all about just like you know making it work Any feedback you girls have, please comment below. You know, we're back on YouTube after a break, and so. Oh, pretty. Really pretty. Perfect. Oh, we have to take off these. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. That is some sexy flowers. And sadly, it's time to say goodbye to our Christmas, our Christmas decorations. And tomorrow I'm gonna take down the tree. Okay, let's throw this away. Oh, Christmas. I just cramped all my muscles. I love this dining table. I went to the marble yard and picked it out the slab myself. So I've been trying to take care of things you love. You have to take care of them. So we're giving our table a deep, deep clean. Girls, I know I need to get new cutting boards. I hear the plastic ones are not great for you because you can scrape off little pieces of plastic into the food. And I use my one wooden one. And the chilies are cleaner right now. But I need to get more wooden cutting blocks. Our chicken is ready. So we just put the onions to start sauteing on the stove and we're gonna take all the veggies out and put them into our blender to make our chipotle sauce. Mine doesn't have chipotles, but... I also forgot to put garlic in here. You're supposed to put a little bit of garlic. That's what the three-day plan says, which is great for metabolism. So it's too late now, but definitely add the garlic. We're just gonna shred the chicken. It should just fall apart like this, you see? Yes. If you girls get confused by any of the instructions, you can just look on the plan. It has all the details there. Put it in the microwave. So easy and it's also great for our stomach. Super simple. 
carving instead of soda, these Bell and Greenos. Insanely good. Before I forget, I'm gonna take my deep pills now, which are unbelievable for water retention, bloating, like any symptom that you feel swollen or uncomfortable in your skin. Um, that time of the month, they are life changing. I swear, I've been taking them for four years, five days a week, and I never fail. All right, girls, I'm gonna go to sleep soon. I'm gonna start having no more screen time. I like to wind down like an hour before going to sleep. So I'm gonna say goodbye here. But um, the important thing too that we're trying to do is have timed eating schedules so that your st stomach can have a rest over the night. So it's 7 p.m. now I'm eating dinner and then I'll eat breakfast at 7 a.m. or later. That way you get 12 hours of your stomach being able to regenerate and recuperate. So. Only if you feel like that's not going to make you feel restrictive. Other than that, it's great. Love you girls so much.